If you're looking for cheap, safe, and reliable MT, make sure you go check out my new sponsor, SafeMBAMT.com. Use code JC2K for 5% off and go build that God Squad you always wanted. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. And in today's video, we're going to be using the new Pink Diamond campaign. Uh, Cameron Payne was a guy who before this season i would say was thought of many by as a fringe nba player maybe not even a guy deserving of an nba roster spot and he has done an incredible job this season of changing people's perspective about him and becoming a really really valuable six man for the suns super important role player for them who's played a huge role in their playoffs and has become a playoff hero for them for a team that really likely might win the nba championship and uh, that's really really cool and for me personally i have become a huge fan of campaign this year watching the way that he's developed as a player and changed and he just has this confidence of about him and seems to believe in himself when nobody else did which is really really cool and i am i've become a big supporter of campaigns so that's really why i wanted to use this card um and i'm excited to use them so before you hop into if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button help us push towards the 2000 subscriber mark on the channel literally less than 20 subscribers away from 2000 so if y'all haven't make sure to subscribe you can get in there before 2000 i would really appreciate it but uh yeah without further ado let's hop into it see what campaign can do so campaign is six foot one 99 offense 99 defense admittedly he's very undersized for my team but a 94 driving layup 95 three pointer 95 mid range 80 driving duck 90 ball handle 85 block and steal 74 interior which is definitely low and 94 perimeter 74 rebounding a 98 speed, speed long acceleration, 97 lateral quickness. The thing about this card is he's just going to be too small. He's going to get destroyed in the perimeter or on in the interior. And even on the perimeter, it's going to be hard for him to keep up because he's just not physically big enough. But, um, Still definitely a guy who I think for a Suns theme team you can have a lot of fun with. Guy you can also have a lot of fun with in Triple Threat Online. Also comes with his 85 driving and flashy dunk tendency. Defensive tendencies are looking solid with 97 pass interception on ball steal and 90 contest and block shot tendency. 48 hops as well, including catch and shoot, ankle breaker, dimer, pickpocket, pick dodge, clamps, hard crusher, interceptor, intimidator, pogo stick, trapper, consistent in contact, finisher, fast break finisher, showtime. He's got off showtime. That's nice. Downhill, quick first step, unpluckable, dead eye, flexible, green machine, hot zone hunter, range, tireless, and volume shooter. Also handles for days and tight handles on gold. Needs rim protector, box, rebound chaser, post move lockdown, worm. All those interior badges that are very, very common. Also steady shooter if you are on next gen. But um, besides that, he looks like a really fun card. Very solid card on the offensive end of the court specifically. And here's my whole thing with campaign. I really do think he's basically too small to be effective in an unlimited setting uh, or maybe in a comp setting. In an unlimited setting, if you're a good player, I think you can use this card with success. I really think you can use most cards that come out these days with success if you're a good player. Um, and campaign's jumper also isn't the like if he had 98 on very quick, that would be nice. I don't know what this jumper is, but it's not like the smoothest release. It's actually not bad. It's just a little bit slow. I'm not holding it. I've got a lot of slightly earlies on it. Um, but I think once I find the green one on, it's gonna be very consistently green green that's not the issue uh, it's a little bit slow and when you're this short i think it's gonna be hard to get off so my thing is i don't think this card's going to be a great card i think he's going to be a fun card that if you're especially if you're a suns fan you can use and have fun with um because i mean let's face it there are a lot of people rooting for the suns right now they've kind of become america's darlings in these playoffs to a certain extent and um i think dropping a guy like campaign who's gained a lot of fans this year is definitely a cool thing for 2k to do also has the pro 3 behind the back pro 2 size up he's got some good dunk animations um i mean he looks solid he's definitely gonna be fun i'm looking forward to using him so without further ado let's hop into some triple threat and see what this card can do all right getting he's pressing me i have a dude pr what do we see what am i seeing at least it's darren williams guarding me green b good shot cam that's what i like to see out of your first possession of the game chicken man cam and he gets him out of here that's what i like to see first game done let's hop into another one all right, second game here. He's going up against Russell Westbrook as well. And I think in triple threat, you can use cards like this and have a lot of success with them simply because they're just, you're going to go up against a lot more small point cards. And that's where I think using cards that are really more for fun is really good. And unlimited, unlimited too. But for somebody like me who really does not like to lose, I do not like losing in general. So I would much rather play with cards in um, triple threat that are more fun because it doesn't matter nearly as much if I lose in triple threat or, and I think you can also get away with them more in triple threat just because TTO is such an offensive game. Good shot there from uh, Cam. Whereas in Unlimited, you're going to struggle to run a guy like Campaign. If you come up against somebody good, if you come up against a not that great player, like I feel like I could probably run um, Campaign in Unlimited and still win 90 plus percent of my games. But that may not be true for a lot of other people. And that's totally fine. I'm just saying this may not be the guy for you if your goal is to win most of your Unlimited games. But in Triple Threat, have fun with it. And that's what Campaign gives you. He's got a card you can't have fun with. I mean, I'm having fun moving and grooving right now. I'm a big y'all y'all can kind of tell by now I'm assuming that I'm a big campaign guy good move right there by the way didn't green it but we'll take it ah oh, it's gotta be a steal and 
Close. Oh, whoa, I just ran right past him. What are we doing, Taco? My fault. Let me get the ball back in campaign's hands. My fault, man. Yup. Oh, good move. I got a green. My fault. Good shot, baby. That's my steal. Pass back. Yup. Make him stick me. He can't get a bump on me right now. He really is not cannot get a bump on me. Thanks for dropping. <laughs> Good shot, Cam. Let's go. Another wide open look. Board. Ah, I knocked it down. Let's go. I'm. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I gotta get my groove in. He got take now, though. I've made a bunch of whites this game, but I gotta, like, green something. Let's see what we can do. Come on, Cam. Crabby. Chick, man. I missed. I, bro, how many whites have I made this game? That is so bad. His release is not good. Not bad either. I just got a green, bro. Like, what am I seeing? I tried to get bumpy. Good And get it back. Yep. Okay, well, that's tough. Well, I got one more opportunity to green a shot this game. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, Cam. I've been selling you. I ain't gonna lie. I've definitely been selling you. And I get bumped. What am I seeing? I don't know what I'm doing, bro. He just keeps throwing, like, blind passes. And I keep not getting the steals. Goody. Goody. Look at campaign sitting. Yes, sir. Get up on him. Good. Yes, sir. Goody, baby. Let's get it, Cam. Now, you want to end this one off with a green? Nope, he does not. I did not green a single shot that game. Like, what in the world is am I doing? Anyways, campaign still finished 22, 8 of 10, 6 of 8 from 3. And I don't think I greened a single shot. Like, what in the world? I don't know. I'll still take the dub. It is what it is. How about this final triple threat game of the day? We're going up against Tom Van Arsdale, which again, I don't think is a bad matchup for campaign. Anybody who's close in height, and there's a green. Of course, I can't green the whole last game, but now I can green. But um, that, that's another guy. I mean, I, yeah, we played three triple threat games, and y'all have seen three different matchups of guys who I believe campaign can compete with. I think in a triple threat mode, just use the cards you want, because you're going to go up against teams where you can beat them, even with the cards who may not be the the best uh, in terms of like meta 2k i guess he makes a 32 percent what am i watching anyways let's see what we can hop let's see what we can get into that's an open shot chick man i gotta green it my fault get the board taco you're like 14 inches taller than him and i can't get a beat steal either come on 2k 2k what am i seeing bro freaking node it's cool Hit the screen, beautiful, beautiful. I'm late. I gotta release just a little bit earlier, my fault. Good shot. I was hoping to get that bump. He shoots that, how is that wide open? I don't know how he created that space. He just kinda like stopped and, I don't know, got an open shot somehow, but we'll just fell off him. Hit the screen again. Now I'm early, bro, I cannot green, good shot. I'm just smoky with this card, man. I'm typically smoky with cards in general, though. Why am I leaving him wide open? Can I play some sort of defense? Thank you. That's wide open as well. And I missed it. Bruh. Bruh. Chill. Oh, my lord. I do not agree with this card for whatever reason. I'm agreeing one today, but... Or won this game, won first game that got the quit, but I don't know. There's another green. Good shot. Now he's got take. Beautiful. That's what I like to see out of you, Cam. Two more threes. We can get him out of here real quick in this game, huh? Just knocked down threes every possession. Easy dubs. What are we shooting? I'm confused. People just come and triple threat to troll. Like, what are we doing? I missed with take. That was a full bar. I think that one, I think that one was a full bar. D, and he's just gonna try to shoot over me again like what am i seeing this dude's offense is atrocious wide open look to end the game green being good stuff we green like three or four threes that game that's not bad 
21 points, 7 to 10, 7 to 10 from three in three minutes. Like he absolutely dominated this campaign card. It's 300. Super, super solid. I like it. So again, when it comes to campaign or other 6'1", 6'2", 6 foot type cards, are they good in cop like now are they going to be good at unlimited if you're good at the game yeah if you if you want to use them on unlimited then you will be able to have success with them but the place that these cards are really going to excel is in triple threat and that's where i think you should use like i've been saying the cards that are more fun the cards that you really like of players you enjoy using and all that stuff because you can still have success with them in triple threat and enjoy how you're playing um but yeah this campaign card was fun really good three hunter started to get his release down toward the end of the video um just definitely a fun card i enjoyed using him shout out to campaign again he's had a great year if y'all did enjoy this video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe less than 20 subscribers again away from 2,000 subscribers on the channel really appreciate your support if you help me subscribe and if you help me get to that mark by subscribing um yeah but i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace